I'd like to show you some um, some puffer fish action. Have a look at this little look bad boy. That. This is there's a problem with this puffer fish though. Do you know what the problem is? Uh, no. Go on. Look at the look at Dentures? the teeth. Dentures. Yes. It, it, this is not. a puffer fish that's been to the dentist uh, because I'll, <laughs> it, you don't have to look anymore. Um, a puffer fish was rushed to a veterinary dentist to have her teeth sawn in half because they'd grown so long that uh, it couldn't eat. Goldie, who's that little puffer fish there, a five-year-old porcupine puffer fish, was at the risk of starving, so uh, they rushed her to this veterinary centre in Kent, and a lovely veterinary nurse there held her in a wet towel because <laughs> no, this is important. This is important because with a puffer fish, obviously you don't want it to. They sedated it. You don't so want out it, of water for too long. Well, what happens to a puffer fish when they oh, of get course. A bit angry? Yeah, no. <laughs> they go double the size, don't they? So they didn't want that to happen. So she held it while the dentist. Saw the teeth in half, and it's all fine. Gold is back in the water. You would be quite angry if someone just randomly did that yeah. to you. If I, what a great thing to just double in size if you're really annoyed. <laughs> right, have some of this. It would be quite dangerous, though, I think, Daniel. Yeah. Don't you very think? A pet a pufferfish whose teeth had grown so loud she could barely eat has undergone life-saving surgery. Goldie was taken to the dentist by her owner because of her overgrown beak. Usually puffer fish teeth can be worn down by food, but Goldie wasn't eating the right food. Expert vets in Kent were able to trim her beak and now she's happily back home.